this quite a big and hairy thing that I have drawn here is a model that we use in some planning and some research and it's called the rational comprehensive model. Rational, rational, comprehensive, comprehensive model. Even the name is quite a hairy. So let's take a look. If you will find this model in a book, you will be maybe a little bit confused because you are expecting that it should tell you something about how we are going to conduct some research and how we are going to plan our activities. It will, but it is quite a tricky. So let's let's go uh, very slowly through the model. I would say we can divide it into three parts. We are going to have something called the, the planning part, or, or at least from my point of view, my mind imagine it as a, a planning part or when you are sitting at a desk. So here you are at the desk. Then you are developing some options, evaluating, implementing them. So here you are, you can say, outside in the field. Here you are in the field. And finally, you have some monitoring, evaluating and feedback. So it is maybe some after, after, you can say aftermath, aftermath. And you, of course, have a consulting with stakeholders that takes part in all the all the parts of this model. So let's begin with the begin with the very first and that it terms of reference brief. Simply in a theory you should clearly state state the purpose, the purpose and scope and scope of your research. And I will also bring a practical example on the side. So let's say we are some maybe uh, touristic attraction and we would like to increase young people's participation so increase increase uh, let's say 18 to 25 participation participation patient within let's say within the next five years within the next five years so we have clearly stated the purpose we want to increase the participation and the scope 18 to 25 within the next five years. What comes next is called the environmental appraisal. You should basically try to find some secondary data, secondary data about the environment. Maybe there are already some secondary data. Maybe our company already has got the statistics about the participation. So I will search for them and maybe thanks to them, I will be then maybe better able to set my missions, goals and develop my options. So you can imagine some secondary data collection. And in case of our small touristic attraction, it can be considering existing supply. So considering, considering existing, existing supply and demand, supply and demand. And then comes the mission and goals. This should be a very clear statement of what you are going to do. So as we have said, we want to increase, at first we want to increase 19 to 25, but in our mission and goals, it should be a very clear statement. So clear, clear, and I'm writing a clear statement that will lead you uh, in the, all of the following stages. So in any of these stages, you should be able to take back a look on your mission and goal, and it should be able to tell you what you should do next. So in the case of our touristic attraction, it could be increase, increase, participation, participation of the age group 18 to 25, up to 160%. 160% of current state and we have found out thanks to secondary data that we need it within the next three years so within the next three years so this is very clear statement of what we are going to do and what we would like to achieve then we are going to develop some options so here you can say you are going to try to find out some strategies some strategies what you can do what what are your options or what can you do? What can you do? And let's say in, in the case of our touristic attraction, it would be we maybe can do some wall share campaign. We maybe do wall share campaign. Campaign. 
or maybe uh, we can uh, do some publicity so we can do some public relations or we can do some Facebook campaign Facebook whatever and we have developed let's say a list of maybe maybe 20 of these strategies then we are going to evaluate options and decide the strategy so if in this point we will say okay this one is correct and this one is correct that is our evaluation and the decision about the strategy we are going to adapt then we are going to have the implementation and management well this you can imagine as a practical as a practical practical field field implementation implementation and you simply take all of what you have planned and you bring it to the world so it will look okay we have decided about points three and four so we will do them so we will do them don't seek behind all these points do not seek for anything more complicated we simply decide about some strategies evaluate them decide which ones are correct and then implement and manage them well and finally we have got some monitoring and evaluating so we can assess success in terms of increased participation we measure or we can assess assess our success in increased participation participation well and if you imagine the feedback what can be the feedback from our from our research or from our actions well we we can maybe have some feedback from some sport coaches or we can have some feedback from our customers themselves customers and we collect it because maybe in the future we would again would like to do some the same action and we would maybe thanks to that have some better data or some better information of what we should do and as we have said within all this process there is going to be some consulting with stakeholders and this consulting with stakeholders let's say in case of our our uh, tourist attraction it may not be just our shareholders or the financial behind our organization it can maybe be some sport clubs so maybe some sport clubs sport clubs so someone oh sorry my board so someone who is involved in our touristic attraction and these changes will touch will touch him or her or this organization so this was the basic idea of rational comprehensive model of how we should design and how we should follow the steps in our research